Summer is rapidly approaching here in my Modesto, California tropical garden. It's expected to hit 105 this week. So it's time for me to prepare my, some of my plants and trees for the impending heat. But first, if you like this channel, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe button, and the notification bell. So yeah, we're gonna talk about this beautiful little tree right here. It's my Hawaiian pink plumeria. I planted it last year, and as you can see, it's doing really, really good. It made it through the winter, no problems. Um, and it's made it through the spring, no problems, even though we've had already had 95 degree temperatures. Uh, but we're getting ready to have 105 degree temperatures. So uh, I just wanted to show everybody how I take care of it during the summer. First thing I do is I make sure to whitewash the trunk. All, anything exposed to the direct sun, you wanna whitewash it. I use a indoor paint, white paint, mixed 50% water. So it's 50-50 mix. To be more specific, I use a white latex indoor paint and I mix it 50-50 with water. It's important for you to uh, get every square inch of the bark that's facing the sun all the way down to the ground. If you don't, when that sun shines on it, here in this California sun, our summer sun is blistering hot and it will find a spot. It be, it's it's kind of like going out in the sun without any uh, clothes on and getting out in the sun on a sunny day, you're gonna get burnt. Any spot that you don't cover up with sunscreen, you're gonna get burnt. Well, think of the whitewash as a sunscreen. So you wanna protect it. Uh, close to where the leaves are coming out, it's not so important because they're shaded all the time. But you wanna get every point in, on the trunk covered with the uh, latex paint. Uh, then I mix up some of this, more bloom. About two weeks before the expected heat spell, I mix it up two tablespoons to a gallon of water. And then I mix it, I sprinkle it into the, uh, into the soil. As you can see here, I have uh, pebbles as a mulch does really good for increasing the humidity when they're wet and reflecting the heat, absorbing and then reflecting the heat during the winter time. So let's take a quick look again at the fertilizer I use and why I use this type of fertilizer. It has no nitrogen. Using nitrogen during the heat of the summer creates a lush growth of tender leaves and the tender leaves get scorched in this hot summer sun. It also has 10% uh, phosphorus, 10% potassium, which is really good for um, root growth and good roots allow good uptake of water and, and nutrition. Fertilizing with this fertilizer creates the most beautiful blossoms on my plumerias. Uh, when others just don't seem to have good blossoms, this fertilizer does it. And uh, the following day, I don't do it the same day because to me it'll dilute, dilute the fertilizer. I use this unique uh, uh, drip irrigation uh, rig that I created using an adapter that I hook up to my hose, and it has a uh, it has a soak little micro soaker hose, and it's about four feet long. And I put it in the area of the roots, and I turn it on. It puts out a couple gallons in an hour, and I do that about two or three days in a row for about an hour. Um, and the water penetrates this real dense uh, mulch that I have down here, and it works pretty good. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and you have a good day.